But I'm doing my laundry, y'all saw that. And then y'all saw me getting ready, turn up, period. I'm actually feeling really good. Like today, I just felt really good. I cleaned up, I turned on some meditation music in the house, period. I'm just feeling good. I gotta do some school stuff too. I gotta turn all these front and back into wireframes today. <laughs> That's going to take a long time, but I'm going to do it, y'all. I'm going to do it because I do not want to be behind. No. If I wait until Monday, baby, I'm not going to catch up. It, it's not going to be done. It's not going to get done. So, I'm going to do that. But before, I'm going to take a walk because I need to ground myself. Like, yesterday, I was just in go mode. Ever since I made that last video in September, i just been in go mode because... I'm like, I need to get my shit together. Like, what's going on? Like, get it together. Like, I evaluated myself. Like, now, let's go. So, let me show y'all the outfit because it's kind of eating today. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I did my eyebrows. They not too bad. They not too bad. Y'all know on Fridays, I do my everything shower, skincare routine, all that. And um, I did not show y'all that because I show that like a billion times i know y'all tired of it so i'm like let's switch it up let's do something different okay but let me show y'all my outfit like the full outfit mm -hmm. okay this is the outfit period and i'm gonna wear my uggs is it cold enough to wear these hell no but am i gonna wear them anyway yeah i am because it's just gonna eat with the outfit. It's fall, it's October, I'm gonna wear them. And if anybody got a problem with it, then they just got a problem with it. Ooh, I should get a matcha. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> and then, I'm literally so excited because Every time I put my Uggs on, I'm just like, it's that time. It's that time of the year. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Got my headphones. I already have them in. 
I just like to carry the case because I don't know, it just makes me feel secure or something. I don't I don't know what it is. But let's go y'all. Why that man just say you look good? <laughs> Get on your job. Pay attention to that job. But that was nice. <laughs> Honestly, the best thing I ever did was just allow things to happen instead of trying to control it because I'm just living my best life you know how you just like sit down and like process everything that's happening I feel like everybody who has left my life it was for the highest good of me and now I'm just like I can do whatever I want I just feel like I have more courage to live my life do what I want just step out into spaces that I've never been in and just enjoy my life. I feel like I didn't realize that these people were holding me back as much as they were. And I do feel like the time that I spent with them was for a purpose, was for a reason. But like now, I'm like, I am so glad y'all are not in my life because half of the stuff that I do now I wouldn't have done them when they were around. It's not because I was like scared to do it or anything. It was more so like I didn't have the time because I was dealing with these people. And so now I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have the time to take care of myself. I have the time to do the things that I like to do because these people are not in my life. So I'm really grateful. Things are gonna get better and better and better. Like. I mean, everything is just coming into place. I feel like everything is already into place. I'm just really excited, like, ugh, like finally. Especially with the last video, like last time I talked to y'all, I was just like, let me get it together because, baby, something's not right. Something is not right. And like, now that these people's energy is like not around me and is not affecting me, I just feel cleansed and I just feel like more in my energy and I feel like I'm able to give more to not only myself but to the people that actually do support me that actually do care about me and it's so funny because I feel like everybody's going through like the same situation of where they're like figuring out like certain people have hidden animosities towards them and I just think it's just so funny because like when you're self-aware, you just like realize it. But it's like when you're not self-aware, it just seems like things are happening to you, like nothing is going your way. And I just like, I just like feel more self-aware because I realized that the situation that happened with me, not only happened with me, but it happened with certain people that I was watching and was around and I just find it like so crazy how everybody like deals with the situation differently and it's just like kind of crazy it's like dang we're all connected like for real for real and like <laughs> and like y'all this is like so crazy but it's just like so true I'm starting to realize like at the end of the day, everybody's going to have haters, everybody's going to have people that just don't like them, either for a reason or not for a reason at all, like, but if you allow those people to keep you at that place of where you're not living your life, you're not living your authentic truth, you're never going to be anybody in your life, like, you're never going to enjoy your life fully, and so 
I'm okay with having haters. I'm okay with like people not liking me, like people watching me and not liking me. I'm genuinely okay with that. And I feel like the more I put myself out there, the more hate I'm gonna get, but also the more love I'm gonna get as well. So it just depends on people's perspectives, the way that they grew up, like it's just, it has a lot of factors to it. And so I'm realizing that. And I'm also like, damn, I'm so grateful that half of these people are just not in my face. Like half the people that don't like me cannot fully tell me that they do not like me to my face. But like I can feel their animosity. It's more so like their behavior towards me because the people that were in my life, they said in like passive aggressive ways or like showed it in passive ways because they could never have the balls to say it to my face, like just flat out say it. So, I mean, it just is what it is, but I'm just so glad that things are working out. <laughs> like even with certain people trying to bring me down, it could never work because I'm in this mindset that you can't bring me down unless I allow you to. And because I'm in that mindset, it's just so much better for me. It's so much better for people around me. <laughs> Cause you know how you like feel somebody's animosity and then you're sad and then you're around the people that actually care about you and you're just sad because certain people that do not care about you don't like you. Like I I'm not gonna be in that energy anymore. Like that shit is crazy. And I feel like that's part of growing up. I realized that certain people don't grow up you'll see certain people at certain levels and you're like you're like how old and why haven't you grown up like what's going on it's like this rested development of like certain people and i'm not trying to judge them or anything but it's like there's so many resources there's so many things that you can get your life together i just feel like certain people are purposely ignoring the things that they should be doing and doing things that are leading them to fail and i just accepted that certain people they want to fail they don't want anybody to help them they don't want anybody to save them they want to fail and i feel like i had to be okay with that because i'm always like trying to help people and I just realized that not everybody wants to be quote unquote saved. Yeah, today's a really good day and I'm just like really grateful. Cause like, if I didn't have that encounter with certain people, I wouldn't be this self-aware. And I wouldn't realize that some of these people were a reflection of me. And I'm saying some because some of them people, hell nah, okay? I'm realizing that there's some things that I need to work on and I'd rather work on myself than try to fix somebody else who doesn't want to be helped. So, yeah. So I'm back from my walk and I made me a smoothie. It has a whole carrot, some ginger, strawberries, mango, hemp seeds, and some chia seeds in here. Baby, this is the truth. This smoothie has my skin looking good and then it makes my body feel good. So yes, get you one of these, okay? I put my last load of laundry in the wash. I told y'all, I'm getting my life together. I, this is all before four o'clock? Yes. And I'm going to journal. So I've been doing a lot of emotional dumps. And if you guys do not know, I am certified in journaling for your well-being, okay? I am not a psychologist, just 
I need to put that disclaimer out there. Okay, so if you need extra help, you need extra help, go ahead and get you some extra help. I do emotional dumps just because I have a lot of thoughts that come through my mind. So emotional dumps really help me just figure out what's going on in my mind and just let it go as well. Because I'm the type of person where I'll think about some. What the actual fuck? <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was. Um, but anyway, I'm the type of person of where I'll think about certain things for the longest time. And I'll... Okay, it's getting a little bit too weird. What the fuck is that? Anyway. So I'll think about certain things for a long time and it will just be stuck in my mind so emotional dumps really help me just figure out what I need to do next and also help me with mental clarity. So if you're looking for gaining some mental clarity, I recommend emotional dumps. So how you do it is just writing at the top of the page emotional dump and the date and just journaling out all your emotions also giving yourself a safe place to put your emotions i love to journal journaling has always been my top tier thing to do especially when i was younger so this is something that has truly helped me through a lot of difficult situations like so i've been doing this for i want to say three years and it's really been helping. So I'm gonna take you guys outside with me on the patio and we're gonna journal together. And then I'm gonna do my wireframes because I'm low key procrastinating, but they're gonna get done and they're gonna get done today. This is the deadline. I'm not doing nothing tomorrow, okay? I'm not doing nothing tomorrow. So I didn't finish the rest of my wireframes. I'm gonna finish them now. I just had to have a break because I just scratched the whole idea that I had and I just started over. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. I was just confused. So I had to like scrap it and then just start over. But anyway, I'm going to close off this video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys on my birthday. Yeah. We being consistent. Period. Love y'all.